very busy weekend in Washington, D.C. This was the scene outside our own Eastland Mall as 3,000 people from Charlotte boarded charter buses bound for a rally for immigration reform there. They joined half a million people in the nation's capital hoping to attract the attention of lawmakers. WBTV Sarah Batista traveled with that group to Washington and arrived home just this morning. Quite a whirlwind trip. Tanya, well, we were gone a little over 24 hours, and I have to say this trip was jam-packed. We were one of the first groups to arrive in D.C. and one of the last to leave. And these folks, they were excited, they were motivated, and they had one goal, to remind President Obama of his campaign promise. Not a second to waste. The momentum growing, they held signs and chanted for their freedom. This is where I met Lucy Perez. She's a U.S. citizen, but she marched for the people she loves. I really want this reform, immigration reform to go through so my friends can apply, like, you know, go to college and better themselves, and as well for my parents because they haven't been able to get legal status here, and they've been here for 20 years. Her story is one of millions in the U.S. This year, she'll be the first in her Mexican family to graduate high school. College is next. She's majoring in pre-medicine. They're really proud. They say it all the time. Right now, we are standing near the front lines of the folks who are rallying for immigration reform. It's been a long day. We have traveled for many hours, and so have these folks. They've come from all over the United States, and we've heard today from political leaders, from spiritual leaders, from community activists. They have traveled, again, from all over the nation, and we're seeing folks of all different races and all different ages. Our job here today is to create a floor for how working people are treated. People like Jose from Charlotte in his native Argentina, he worked worked as a psychologist. Here, he's a gas station attendant. Still, he says the quality of life is better here. Right now, I, I'm doing a kind of life that I can, I can do. But uh, yes, I, I always I hope to do better. He's counting on the president to act on immigration reform so he can work legally. In a taped video, President Obama promises hope again, surprising the audience. Back on the bus, Perez is thrilled. He promised that he would do, um, bring it into Congress again, and that brought hope. It was just like, okay, we're a step closer, we're getting there. Man, it was just amazing. Mm, and it was interesting to see everyone stop talking when Obama's message came up on the big screen. He said he will do everything in his power to get the ball rolling on comprehensive immigration reform this year. But of course, he is expected to face major opposition. Tanya. All right, Sarah, thanks. And this was the largest group to rally on the Washington Mall for immigration to date. And immigration reform bill is already being drafted.